we're going to discuss the rough layout of the human circulatory system, what it is like and why we have such a circulatory system. The human circulatory system is a double circulation, a double circulatory system. That means blood flows through the heart twice in a full circulation. What does that mean? And if you look at the picture over here, you can see that it's divided into two halves. The heart itself is divided into two halves. We have a half point here, the left side on this side, I will label right and on this side I will label the left. This is because when we look at a picture of any human anatomy or any biological anatomy, whatever you see in front of you is as though there is a person or a specimen directly in front of you. So what's on your left side, we're going to assume is the right side of the body. In this picture, the right is colored blue. The blood running through the blood vessels here are blue. This is deoxygenated blood. Blue is to represent deoxygenated blood. It doesn't mean that the deoxygenated blood is actually blue. It's actually red. The right side, we label it red because this represents an oxygenated blood. Okay. So you can see that blood runs through the heart twice in a full circulation. Let's contrast a little bit. Looking at these two on my left side here, we have a single circulatory system of a fish on the left side, a double circulatory system, that of a mammal, humans included, on the right side. On this pictures, we can see the heart is much simpler in the fish compared to the heart of a human. The fish blood runs through the heart once in a single circulation and only deoxygenated blood runs through it in the human heart. Both deoxygenated and oxygenated blood run through it. So there's a double circulation. They are separated in the middle by a wall over here. Okay, so let's quickly run through the general functions first. For the human, we use our heart and our blood vessels to obtain oxygen from the lungs to obtain nutrients from the small intestine. Once the blood has absorbed these things, it can distribute the oxygen and the nutrients all around the body. It also helps remove waste materials from our cells. Every cell produces a bit of waste material, for example, carbon dioxide. The blood will absorb that carbon dioxide, bring it to the lungs to be removed. Other waste products can be removed via the kidney. So on the picture over here, on the right here, this is a rough illustration of how blood circulates throughout the body with the heart right in the middle over here. And these two pink things, these represent the lungs. So the lungs give oxygen to the blood. Then the blood goes back to the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart delivers the blood to the other parts of the body, it pumps blood to every other part of the body. Every other part of the body uses up oxygen, so the blood becomes deoxygenated and it returns through the veins into the right side of the heart. Okay, in summary, in mammals there is a double circulation, this is very important for your purposes in the exam, make sure you know this. Double circulation. Double circulation, very important. The definition you need to remember. The two circulations are pulmonary and systemic circulation. These two, also important to remember. Pulmonary circulation is blood flowing from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. 
Systemic circulation is blood flowing from the heart to the rest of the body and back to the heart. And from here we can see And from here we can see a simplified diagram. The heart's wall in the middle divides the left and the right side. The right side is for pumping deoxygenated blood from the rest of the body into the lungs. The lungs gives oxygen to the blood. The blood goes back to the heart. The left side of the heart pumps the oxygenated blood out of the heart and into the rest of the body. The rest of the body uses up their oxygen, the blood goes back to the heart. Okay, that's all. Thank you.